see what's going on with it. HPD here. Got multiple officers. Oh, I guess they they have a lost kit. I must keep the distance for Well, they have like a three, four, five maybe year old boy wandering around Hazleton streets. Well, we'll see how these develop. Uh, we right here at the uh, Hazel Twins A East Juniper, Juniper, as you can see in the sign over there. We have a wandering around little boy, probably around five maybe guys maybe I want to go live but I don't have I don't have a enough data No, he's younger than that. He's probably around three or four, maybe three. Unbelievable, guys. No, he's he's younger than he's younger than three. Increíble, ¿ah? No, me imagino que la familia hizo la pena. Seguro de salir a jugar. Yeah. Pero yo tengo más de una hora. Really? Con el niño. Wow. No, me imagino que la familia andaba por ahí buscándolo. I know. Pero usted no está corriendo todo esto como si se estuviera haciendo. Pero ya ellos debieron, debieron de haber avisado a 911. You know what I mean? If they're, look, familia, sí. if they're looking for him, they should have already called 911. Sí, they should have, have been informed by now. Porque un niño enfermo, el niño no habla. No. Well, he looks like he's maybe three, right? Maybe less than three? Como tres años? No, tiene que tener más. Más? Como algunos right. cinco años. Eh? Pero que el niño parece que es autista, no habla. Oh. Unbelievable. ¿Tú estás manejando el taxi? Sí, yo vine de una gente. Oh, yeah. Entonces veo que el niño se me para atrás. Y yo dije, y lo voy a brincar no solo. Y digo, yo, ¿y este niño? Y yo me desmonto a asustar. Porque tú sabes, uno no le puede dar. Y veo que el niño se me va huyendo y corre por ahí como un loco. Y ah. yo le dije, pero ¿y este niño? Y cojo para allá como una loca y empecé a bocearle a los carros que se pararan, porque entonces los carros estaban pasando y no lo estaban viendo. Yeah, yeah, le, bocea, le bocea a los carros, entonces los carros se pararon y creían que era mío. Wow. Entonces dije, no, ¿quién dijo? Que a tu señor te paró y lo agarró. ¿Tú fuiste que llamaste a ellos? Claro, ¿por qué te voy a hacer con ellos? Yeah. Yo no sé quién es ni nada y eso uno no me puede tener un problema. Right. Yo no sé quién es. Unreal. ¿Ya me estaba el bebé? ¿El niño? No es de nadie, ¿de usted no sabe? Yo no sé, pero yo no le he visto la cara. Ah, pero mire, a ver. Pero es que aquí no vivo en niños. Aquí vivo en niños. No sé. No. Pero no creo que viva en niños. Lo ha visto a ver. ¿Y tu papá? No, porque no habla el niño. No habla. 
Let me see if I can go live. Guys, we're here at Juniper, uh, the Hazel Hazelton Housing Authority, Hazel Twins, and we have a little boy uh, who has been wandering around uh, this area. We have him uh, in the back of a cruiser right now. And I'm wondering if anybody recognizes this little boy who can contact the Hazelton Police Department is right now in the back of the patrol car. Uh, we are here in Juniper uh, in between, um, was that Cedar? And Wyoming, uh, right here at the Twins uh, Apartments. Uh, if anybody recognizes this little boy, uh, please contact the Hazelton Police Department and uh, inform him, you know, that you are looking for this boy. If anybody recognizes him, that way we can have this boy return to uh, his parents. Uh, he's about maybe three, four years of age. Uh, and, he, and he was wandering around, or he is wandering around. Uh, the Hazel, uh, the Juniper Street right here at the, at the Twin. That's where we are located right now. Uh, is in the back of the uh, Hazelton Police Cruiser. Uh, and if anybody is missing a little boy, so uh, just to let them know that it is he is in uh, police custody right now. And we are uh, waiting, I guess, for their, for his parents to, to contact the Hazelton Police Department. So it's just a little. I know you're driving. You didn't see anybody looking for. No, I just, I just, I just stopped because I see you guys. I see a bunch of you guys, and I said, "Let's, I'm just going on." Yeah, I came up up behind. No. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm live on Facebook. Maybe somebody recognize him and, and, you know. We're going to hang out for a little bit and then we're going to end up taking him back so we can try to find Yeah, him. well, whoever watches this video, you know, maybe they can contact you guys. She's going to go around to see if she finds. Yeah, they're, they're patrolling the area right now looking for somebody looking for this boy. Uh, there is no... Uh, I see a, a lady with the dog over there, but I don't. Where's that? Maybe, maybe, maybe he has to speak Spanish. Yeah, he does. Right? Yeah, because when I just need, he Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I think he only speaks Spanish. He's repeating some of the things I was saying. I, I know yeah. a little bit of Spanish, but. Salud. Salud. Well, at least he's not crying and not going. <laughs> He's in school. He doesn't even know what's going on. <laughs> but he's safe now. At least, you know, he's not going to be run over by a car. I can't believe that the parents are missing a, a boy and haven't even called 911 yet. Because you guys should have received a call by now that, you know, there is a missing boy.
Guys, share this video if you guys uh, want to help me out uh, locating the parents for this boy. We are here on Juniper Street, right at the Twin uh, Hazel Twins A Fifty East Juniper Street, and this little boy is in the back of the Hazelton Police. Uh, cruiser and they're gonna end up taking him to the station uh, if his parents uh, don't arrive or those that don't call I'll be in the lookout yeah I'll be in the lookout all right yeah this guy is going to the station guys if anybody uh, recognize him or if anybody is hey you guys no problem uh, they, he's gonna be taken uh, to the Hazelton Police uh, Department. Uh, if anybody, I see, a, I see an old lady there, maybe. But I don't think, I don't think he came from any any of the twin, uh, any of these buildings. I, I don't think they even. Yo no creo que viva niños aquí. Este como solo de viejito. Yo estoy en live en Facebook. Ya, yeah, yo estoy live. Cualquier cosa que ellos se comuniquen, estamos en Facebook live. En, like I was saying, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be uh, driving around if I see anybody looking for this little boy. But if you guys recognize, see, we have police going uh, door to door on City Street trying to locate the parents um, and we are, we are going to be we are going to be doing a little bit I, I don't like that guys I don't like it. Uh, Express Corp please if you guys come to pick up somebody please remain from uh, beeping the horn because there are people uh, working overnight and they probably home sleeping and you guys coming to pick up somebody get in contact with this person before you arrive to pick him up because that is very very uh, uneducated uh, when you guys pick up people and you guys start beeping the horn that that is no good uh, that's a culture that we are uh, bringing from our countries uh, from Costa Rica, Guatemala, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, all these places, we have this, this habit of beeping the horn for no reason. And that's, that's, that's no good, guys. He's not even flashing his lights. Watch. Express Corp. You guys need to, uh, look, you guys need to look on this, uh, Unit 4. Uh, and maybe, uh, you guys can educate this guy on to, Whenever he's stopping to pick up somebody to um, put the emergency light uh, flashes, maybe pull up to the to the to the curb because right now he's parking on, on the middle of the street, doing nothing with no uh, four ways, and people are confused. He can pull up to the curb, to the parking to the parking spot. Maybe I'm gonna tell him that. Because I, I I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like when these guys just come to pick up people and they just park in the middle of the street. And see, he he have a lot of room to 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 pull into this parking spot. But anyway, we are looking for these for the parents for this little boy that is missing. Oh, that he was wandering around. Primo, tú no tienes los flashers. No tienes los lo, lo, lo four ways. We are here on, on Juniper Street, guys. If you if you guys recognize this boy that was on the back of the patrol car, please. Ya lo puse, ya lo puse. Ya lo puse, ya. Yeah. La policía mira cómo está ahí regada. Vea, le voy a dar una mano a usted. Ay, pues se lo voy a agradecer. Para hacer algo, porque usted parece que la votaron, fue. 
No, ya lo hay en el Ese es jefe. Estamos en vivo, estamos en vivo en Facebook para ver si localizamos el papá de ese muchachito. Esto no está como se le escapó a la mamá o... Oh. Ya, mira la bolsa de la señora. So yeah, guys. Uh, like I was saying before, we need to we need to educate ourselves. We need to educate ourselves and recognize that we're not in uh, in, in our country. Here we obey the rules, the traffic rules, and we keep breaking the rules, and we keep getting hammered with a high insurance premium, uh, people beating stop signs. See, these stop signs, they mean nothing uh, to some people. They're just there for the heck of it, because they don't even stop the, the stop signs. And we need to stop that. We need to stop, start obeying these signs. And there was an accident the other day here. This lady coming from, from that side over there. And see, not even this, not even this guy stopped the stop sign. They, they keep, they kept rolling. If they were, like I was, like I was telling my friend yesterday, if you go into a traffic uh, school or school for driving, and you do that, you fail. So let's always drive like, like we are on the, in the school, that we're being tested. See, this guy did a good job. He stopped the sign. But that's going to be another video. We still have police up on Cedar Street. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, Pine Street. This is Pine Street. Pine in between Wyoming and Pine, that's why that's why they find this this boy walking around. And now the police is looking for his parents. We are in, in North Pine Street right now. And he's walnut. If anybody live around this area and um, let's see, I'm getting a message. Hopefully, if you not, if you guys know uh, this little boy that was in the back of the patrol car, call the Hazelton Police Department because it's under their care right now. Uh, I'm hoping uh, that we can get somebody that we can get somebody's attention uh, when it comes to this boy. It must he he probably live around here because I don't think he's gonna be walking too far uh, from his house to wander around. And I don't see anybody looking for him yet. And like I was saying, I was I was, I was recording, um, and 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 I don't see anybody walking, looking for this boy. And 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 I was saying that before, maybe his parents. Maybe they came from work, or maybe the, the the nanny or whatever. Maybe she fell asleep, and that little boy start I start wandering around, and he got disoriented. Maybe he got uh, lost. Maybe maybe he got lost, and at least now he's safe. He's not. 
he didn't get hit by any car. He didn't get kidnapped. It's unbelievable, guys. It's unbelievable. I mean, and, and I, accidents happen, but but this time, somebody should have came forward asking for this little boy uh, whereabouts. And nobody has yet has come forward to claim uh, this little this little boy about uh, three or four years of age who was found wandering around this area right there with that gentleman in, in red shirt is that's where uh, that's where the lady uh, that's where the lady in the in the uh, taxi caught up to him and he could uh, she could call the cops for this kid to be safely taken by the Hazelton Police Department right now is on a uh, they t took him to the city police department uh, and whoever come forward looking for this boy uh, just to let them know that it's going to be on in Hazelton Police Department. These guys are still looking, patrolling the area, trying to find somebody looking for this boy. I'm going to I'm going to keep um, my eyes open. And if anything, if anybody uh, is looking for this boy, just to let them know that it's uh, in uh, Hazelton Police Department under their care and we are going to be we are going to continue our recording and we are going to keep you guys informed once this guy uh, get reunited with his parents hopefully uh, somebody noticed him missing and start starting to look for him. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. We see that the Hazelton Police Department is still looking uh, to find somebody looking for this little boy. So I am going to... My battery is about to die, so I wasn't prepared. You guys come out of the house, and you never know what's going to... what the day is going to bring you. So today... I uh, just happened to see a bunch of cops around this area, and this is the result. This is what happened. This is what's taking place in Hazleton. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, help me out uh, to find uh, the relatives, these boys' relatives. That way we can tell them that he's in Hazleton custody right now. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you. Bueno, por lo menos aparecieron, por lo menos aparecieron los padres. Well, I guess uh, the kid uh, relatives um, were located. Now they're gonna, at least they can uh, rest 
you know, sure that they the kid is is, is in good hands, uh, and he's at the police department. But now the uh, issue comes where uh, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do with the with the boy? Because it is uh, in Hazleton Police custody right now, and we'll see what's uh, what develops after uh, they go to claim the boy. Uh, chances are that they're gonna be having a little issue with uh, the uh, is that CPS. Is that how you call it? And we are going to continue guys at least the relatives are being found and they're going to take care of the situation thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned there is more coming 